What's up, insiders? Deuces Jacket, Vapen Insider. Today, we're going to be going over a little pod slash AIO kit. We're talking about the smoke. Paz X. Basically, man, this thing is like a full screen version of the Nord 2. Before we get into the video, click the link down below in the top comment in order to join our Facebook group. Here is the purple X Paz kit. I don't know about you, but to me, that looks more like pink than purple. You got a slight raise on the fire button right there. There is your screen. This is a one button mod. You're going to use one button to access all the features. There is your micro USB port right on the bottom there. They kind of beveled the bottom, right? So it really doesn't stand up. I mean, it does, but it's very wobbly. I hate that. I don't know why they just didn't flatten out the bottom there. So stupid to make the curve there. Not a fan of that. Okay, here is your pod or AIO tank, whatever you want to call it, okay? It's going to come with this little thing so it doesn't accidentally fire while it's being shipped, okay? We're going to peel that off in a second. On the inside here, this, this is where you're going to get your airflow from right here and here. There are your two gold-plated pins. They are going to make contact with your coil once you peel that thing off. And on your coil here, you can see you have adjustable airflow with stoppers. In order to get your coil out, kind of want to, like, dig your fingernail in there and pop it out. It's a plug-and-play style coil. We'll go over the coil in a second. In order to fill your tank up, you got this little piece right here where you got to get a hold of. It actually has a nice little tab on the side, which I really like. It's easier to get a hold of than most. When you're done filling, you shut it just like that. Now, here's the RPM coil that comes pre-installed. This is the 0.4 ohm mesh coil, good for up to 25 watts. You can see the mesh in the middle. It's an RPM coil. We've all seen this before. The spare coil in the kit is the RPM triple coil. You're going to see 0.6 ohm coil, good for up to 25 watts as well. This is just a regular round wire coil. It's got a little bit less airflow as well. I mean, you can see side by side, this one definitely has more airflow than this one. All right, the 0.3 ohm has a little bit more airflow. It's more my jam. I've put this one in the uh, blue one that I have, and I've already vaped on this coil as well. Here's the blue one I'm talking about. This one's a little bit more my style. I like the blue a lot better than the purple or the pink, whatever they're calling it. Okay, you can see right there, there is your screen. Smoke in the corner there. There's your battery life, your wattage, your voltage, your resistance, lock or unlock, your puff counter in seconds, your puff counter in total puffs, okay? In order to access the menu system, three clicks. You see the 20 start to blink. Now I can scroll up, all the way up to 40 watts, only up to 40 watts, and you can only scroll up. So if you pass the number you want, like if you pass 25, you got to go all the way back around, okay? So let's put it back at 25. Once it's at the wattage you want, just leave it. Now there's another interface you can get into. Just hit the fire button five times. Five times you see the menu there. I can lock it. I can power it off or I can clear the puffs. If I lock it, I hold the button. Now I can safely put it in my pocket and it will not fire. In order to unlock it, five clicks, hold the button to unlock, and now it's ready to vape. So that's it, folks. That's the whole menu system. Give you one last look at it. Also included in the kit, you're going to get an XPOS user manual. You're going to get a verification card, a spare coil, and a micro USB cable for charging. Let's get into it. Let's get after those cons and pros. We're going to start off with cons as usual. First con is going to be the airflow on this is a tad loud. Let me show it to you wide open. You hear that? It's it's a little bit on the loud side. It's not a deal breaker, but I got to point it out. Next con is going to be the AFC control on this. 
it's just very, I don't feel like I can dial it in. It's kind of on the sloppy side. I wish it had a better range. I just don't think the airflow control on this is well executed. It's not really a good mouth to lung vape because of the sloppiness of the AFC, okay? It doesn't stand up. It pisses me off, man. This is a nice size device for a pod AIO kit. They round it off, they beveled off the bottom. You just naturally go to put this thing down on a desk or a table and it just flops over. It's annoying as hell. I don't know why smoke didn't square off the bottom. It blows my mind when companies do stupid shit like this. RBA mm -hmm. base is not included. That's a con. No type C charging. Mm -hmm. Smoke, get with the program. Everybody's using type C now. You should too. So that's it on the cons. Not anything really that makes it a deal breaker. A lot of nitpicky stuff. Let's move on to the pros. We do have quite a few pros. First pro is going to be that color screen. It's just badass. It's small. It's tight. It just looks good. Nice job, smoke. Super easy menu system. It's got a great, well-established coil system that it uses. It's small. It's compact. It's extremely pocketable. It's got some really nice build quality to it. I told you lately, smoke's been stepping up their build quality game. It's available in a bunch of awesome colors. Very, very easy to see that juice level. I like it. It's a pro. It's got a nice capacity, and the battery life on this has been pretty good so far. And the last pro is going to be, I've been running a Nick Salt in this thing. It's got some nice flavor to it. I've been getting decent vapor production for what it is. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here it is at 25 watts. Not bad for this little guy. The flavor's definitely there. You definitely feel the nick. You know, I doubled up my nick in this thing, and I'm definitely feeling it. It's a nice little device for when you want to be somewhat discreet. Let's put this thing through our five-star rating system. First category is looks. I love the looks of this thing. I love the colors it comes in. The only thing that's really going to hurt it in this category is the fact that it doesn't stand up. I had no other category to ding it in on this one, so I had to use it in the looks category. So we're going to give this a three-star rating in the looks department. In the coil performance department, we're going to give this a solid four and a half stars. And the reason being is it takes RPM coils. There's a bunch of choices out there as far as that line of coils go, and I happen to like that line of coils. I think it's a very flavorful line that's been pretty good as far as the QC goes. In the airflow category is where this thing is really going to lose some stars, okay? You heard me complain that the airflow is sloppy. It's just not precise. In that category, I got to score it below average. I got to give it just a measly two stars. In the value category, we're going to score this one Ah, I got to give it like two and a half stars. And let me explain why, all right? I've been seeing this anywhere from $30 to $45 as of the recording of this video. At $30, bucks, it's not a bad deal. $45, it's kind of ridiculous, in my opinion, okay? If you can get it in the $30 range, it's not bad. Because it's on the high side, and I've been seeing it on the high side of the spectrum, I got to give it an average score of two and a half. We're going to take all these stars, we're going to add them up, and we're going to get a total star count of 12. Now we're going to take these 12 stars, we're going to divide them by 4, and we're going to get an average score of 3, which puts the Paz X about a half a point above what I would consider average. I think that's a good score for it. This is no game breaker. This is no oh my god type of pod AIO system. I do think I like it better than the Nord 2, strictly because of the screen. The vape quality is pretty much the same as the Nord 2. Let's get into some of the specs on the Smoke Paz X. It measures in at 97.3 by 33.6 by 22 millimeters. It weighs in at 97 grams. There is a 40 watt maximum output, as well as a 1400 milliamp hour battery. 0.96 inch color TFT display is on deck. 
It has a 4.5 ml capacity. It comes with two RPM coils. You get a 0.4 ohm mesh and a 0.6 ohm mesh. There is also an optional RBA base. The Smoke Paz X is available in nine different colors. Don't forget inside is head on over to our Facebook group. We have the fastest growing vape Facebook group on the planet. Go check it out. It's a fantastic place for newbies. Very civil, very friendly. We'd love to see you there. Don't forget to check out our new Reddit sub forum as well. We just started that up a little while ago and we're trying to grow it. We'd love to see you over there as well. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. Now more than ever, make sure that you keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.